Start getting out the black clothing. Start getting out your processions. Everybody needs to stay in a certain position. Polish that coffin. This is bad. I don't have... I, this, D. Blair, we're about ready to read last rites. To lose a series to the Tigers, the Guardians are not going to win the AL Central Division, and I'm going to be paying B. Cato 20 bucks. Mathematically, are they out? No. Is this season done for? Yes. B. Cato, pitching is the problem. But good news... You're getting your money anyways. Tigers are far better than us. Tigers have prepared better for us. Tigers are hungry. And we fed them good. They got some good guardian leg in their mouth walking out of town. We are the garbage. We are the big fish in the poker table. We're getting our gut. We got gutted. Gutted against the Tigers. Awful. Awful. We are better than Detroit, in my opinion, but the, by far the best team this weekend was the Tigers. In this game, Logan Allen gave up a two-run shot. That's been a theme of this whole series. Early runs, early home runs by the Tigers. As L.B. Browns just brought up, De Los Santos comes in a 2-1 game. Game does settle down at one point, and then De Los Santos gives up another home run, and then another run after that. And then the Tigers made every Harlem Globetrotter catch you can make. Logan, I'm ready for calf season. Just play the young kids at this point. Nick, I'm there. I don't see this season being salvageable. I think the Guardians are getting the coffin ready. The Undertaker is in hand. Again, they're printing out they're printing out the funeral procession. We are getting ready. Third place coming. Might be. We stink. It hurts my heart. Zach, this is sad. This is a funeral. You're right. Funerals are sad. We mourn what happened. It should have been. Pitching isn't the problem. The hell are you talking about, says B-Cato. Oh, my gosh, we only lost our whole starting rotation, B-Cato. I mean, that's, I don't know. I think that means something. Thank you, Mr. Big Ohio. Good to see you. Tigers have some nice young talent. I think the Guardians do, too, but the Guardians are not putting it together like the Tigers are. Tigers are on a mission to embarrass the Guardians this season, and they are doing it. They are now 8-3. and three. The Guardians have only beaten the Tigers three times in 11 chances. Not good enough. Chancing, chances of winning the AL Central next year, uh, I think they are good. We got to see what they do in the offseason. They have to add a power bat. And we got to see what happens in Shane Bieber. Where is she at? Where do they go from here? They just start playing young players. Time to open up the floodgates. This is done. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Mathematically, is it over? No. Am I, am I, am I, they care, Mr. Big Oil. Am I getting out the dirt? Yes. Can't win games scoring one run. B. Cato, that's most of the time's true. I had such high hopes, but this week I broke. Cactus, done. I'm with you. Done. I'm not angry. I'm frustrated, but I'm sad. I'm mourning. I'm, I'm accepting the, the truth. This is done. Done. Season's done. You cannot lose three out of four of the Tigers and expect to win. Can't. Can't do it. <clears throat> Michael Marsons, I don't think so at this point, but I've been hearing rumors about McKenzie's Tommy John. But, boy, if he gets Tommy John now after delaying it for a while, that's a major um, decision of the errors there because they waited out to not have Tommy John surgery. But I've been hearing reports that he might need it. The McKenzie situation something to watch. A.J. Hinch has the Tigers going in the right direction. I think the Tigers are just doing very well against the division. I'm not ready to say the Tigers are heading in the right direction. You won't blame them. I just blame the offense, B. Cato. B. Cato, they have no power. They have too many young players who are adapt yet to be playing the major league level. They're getting there. I see talent. I see Rokio's got Rokio needs to play. I know the kid can't catch. Rokio's got to play. I can't stand SpongeBob and his boy. Another just iffy play in right field. He Oscar's driving me crazy. I I need a break from Oscar Gonzalez playing right field. Please, please. Screw the Tigers, never liked them. Ugh. Tom, sir, Guardians won't make the preseason until 2028. Thank you, Tom, sir. Good to see you. I know you and BK will be drinking at the same bar later on tonight. Frustrating series. Again, Detroit has a brighter future. I don't agree. Frustrating series. Not the way we wanted to go this year. And again, mathematically, they're still alive. But to me, the division's done. 
The casket's out. The, the Undertaker is getting ready. He's prepared. And I think we're about ready to proceed forward and put the Guardians into the ground. Tigers are way better than this team. This is, oh boy. Tristan's not been good this year. Will this frustrate Tito enough to retire? No, I don't think so, JC. 10, 12, 80. I think it's going to actually restore his energy. Uh, Tigers' future is way better than ours. I don't agree. I don't agree. They're, they're out playing us this year, but I think the, the Guardians have a lot of things going for them with those top three starters that are young. Williams, Logan, and Bybee are very good starters and they're young. Tigers can't match that. Guardians can't hit left-handed pitching. Tigers have power, though. I live in Michigan. They have power as they're over the organization. Well, we'll see, Colin. We'll see. I can't dispute that they aren't better than the Guardians right now. Doesn't mean I don't think they're, they have a better future. I think the Guardians have a great future. When you have Gavin Williams, Tanner Bybee, Logan Allen, and you got Espino, who hasn't even come up yet. That's that's a lot of good young arms. Xavier Curry's having a good year. I don't know, but they got to get some hitting. Oh, well, no, good for you. That was, that was I, I'm glad to hear you're enthusiastic. I thought that was a depressing game. <laughs> good to see you, Noah. Good to see you. All right. Well, we get a day off, and then we get to play the LA Dodgers. That should be fun. That. Sh- <laughs> <sighs> Conklin's back. That's good. Laje Moore's back in practice. Sounds like everybody's good. Okay. All right. Good BK to breaking down the Tigers. Anybody can join him on his podcast. I'm sure everybody will be the tuning in, BK. We all know the Dolans ain't spending money. Does Day name a starter tomorrow? Boy, Bobby T. I, ho- I would hope so. Been a long time. No, Jeffrey. No wild card this year. Back to Ryan Day. Buckeyes need to name a starter. It's been an eerie, eerie Buckeyes training camp at the quarterback. Everything else, though, Bobby, I'm hearing, defense is better. Running back, superb. Wide receivers are stars of the Buka and Harrison Jr., whom I think is going to win the Heisman. But who's the quarterback? BK says Devin Brown, of course. Everybody keeps saying it's going to be McCord. See what happens. These lives are always gunner when they start with the Guardians. Clap. Big cactus. We're not clapping. AJ Hanch completely on Manch Francona. He did this year. Doesn't mean Terry can't manage. He can manage. I will say this. You want to get on Stefanski? I'll be right, right with you. If you want me to talk, funner, yes. If you want me to talk about Terry Francona leaving, I don't want to do that. I like Terry Francona a lot. I think he's a great manager, Hall of Fame manager. I think they should stick with it. Day off tomorrow, Tuesday through Sunday. Guards, 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 starting off with the L.A. Dodgers. Should be fun.